what it is, what it do, cyber world. Welcome to the Ash Said It Show. I'm your host, Ash Brown. I appreciate all of the love and support. Half a million streams, 100,000 downloads. It's insane, but it's all because of you guys and all of your support, all of your love. Thank you so, so very much. Today, we are talking with author, educator, and activist, the wonderful Justine Green. Hey, Justine. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing today? Doing really well. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for joining us. So, Justine, what part of the country are you at today? South Florida. That's usually sunny, but it's actually in the 40s today, and I don't, know. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine most Floridians are not happy with 40 degree weather. It's definitely out of the norm for y'all, but I'm sure in no time it, it'll be back to normal. <laughs> you guys usually bounce back pretty well. <laughs> How did you come to start Green Rose Publishing with your husband? So I actually wrote my first story, Completely Me, in the beginning of like the COVID shutdown 2020. Mm. And what was really interesting is that the book game, a lot of people were furloughed, a lot of people were laid off, and so they weren't actually looking to purchase new books or assign a new author. And I found out that in order to do that, you actually needed a book agent and no agents were taking more people. There was such a process to it that would end up taking over two years. And then I would lose creative say in my story itself. Mm. So I decided and my husband decided, let's just do this ourselves and let's self-publish and make our own publishing company. And we learned a lot along the way, but we ended up doing that and we self-published my first book, Completely Me, and the other two in my series, Completely Emmy and Completely Matt. Oh, wow. Back to the beginning where you guys started, what would you say was the biggest challenge? You know, I was doing a lot of research about, you know, what it would cost for a startup. Because it Mm -hmm. really is. It's a startup. Whether it's only one book or more, it's a startup. And we significantly (laughs) underestimated that. And the fact that you were learning a new realm. I am an education person from the start. My husband is a business person. And all of a sudden, we decided to get into books. (laughs) And it's like, how do we do this? So there was a lot of Googling, a lot of extra time. But we made sure to, to do our research and to do everything we needed to do to make sure it was done correctly and it was going to be successful. And there was just way more to it than we thought, but it was worth it. I love it. So from 2020 till now, what sticks out to you as your proudest moment with the company? So I have to say it was actually my first award. My Mm. first book award I won, and it happened to be on a really difficult day for me. (laughs) Um, And it was almost like, all right, this one door may have closed, but the book world, like what you did was worth it. Mm. And it was just validation. And although we've got, I've gotten many other awards since then, we actually just won our fifth award on my book. And each one is such an honor. It was a first one for me, I think that really hit home and showed me that, you know, my book was being well received. Okay. Cool. Now, what can you tell us about the latest release? You guys just released, I believe, the third installment? Yes. So mm. each of my stories is based on a real child with a real disability. And my first one is about me as a little girl. And each book has a picture of the child it's written after. So it shows mm. you that this person is real. This person could be your friend. Aww. And Mine was about missing a piece. I was born with a atresia and microtia, one affecting the outer ear and one affecting my hearing. I'm actually hard of hearing. I only hear out of one ear. So it was like I was missing a piece, but I never noticed I was missing a piece. I just felt like me. So the second one is about a little girl named Emmy with cerebral palsy, and she learns to stand up for herself when other kids tease her about the way that she walks and using braces on her legs. And then the third one that recently came out is called Completely Mad. And it's about a little boy with ADHD. Mm. So it's, it's a lot of fun. That book really has a great visual. And I'm really proud of it. Yes, as you should be. That's amazing. <laughs> I love it. I love that. You said you came from an education background. Your husband was a business background. What advice would you offer to any aspiring writers? Make sure that what you're putting out there is read by many people. 
people before a final mm. edit. <laughs> that, like, dot your I's, cross your T's, have four other people from different backgrounds right. review it and tell mm. them your feedback. It's so important that authors understand that there is, they, there are lots of changes that go through it along the way, and one eye will catch something that someone else may not have caught, and that mm. it's really helpful to have Yeah, that's a very, very, that's a great point, actually. I don't think anyone's ever suggested that. But yes, multiple eyes. No, thanks. I think that's good. <laughs> I think that's a, that's a really awesome point to make for that. Justine, what's the best way for people to get the books and also follow you guys on social media? So on all the social media, we are at Completely Me Book. And then I am Dr. Mommy Green, which everyone used to call me. <laughs> so I am Dr. Mommy Green. That is the books and my Green Rose Publishing account is at Complete Me Book. And you can buy us on Amazon, on our website, greenrosepublishing.com. You can also, on our website, submit your story for a chance to be featured in one of the upcoming books. So definitely check us out, and I hope to hear from you. Absolutely. Well, Justine, thank you so much for coming through today. Certainly appreciate you. I had so much fun. Thanks for having me on. Not a problem. Much more success to you, the team, your hubby, the babies. I know you get your inspiration from a little bit of everybody. So much more success. And, of course, the next book project. We'll look forward to that. Thanks so much. (laughs) And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Keeping in mind anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face. You tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.